everyone welcome back to plum mashable so for this week's decoration i'm going to be using butterfly skies from planners anonymous so let's go ahead and get to it okay so i've obviously been sitting on this one for a little while because i got it a while ago uh this is going to be using butterfly skies and i know i want to use this die cut i want to use it to make a shaker which i know i did a shaker not too long ago but I'm gonna do one anyway so what I'll do because if you don't want to watch the shaker because I understand that this sort of sometimes bothers people I'll put right now down what time to skip to if you don't want to watch the shaker being made and you just want to watch the decoration uh, but otherwise let's have a go at this so I'm gonna start off with some die cuts or some dies I'm gonna grab this one I think it's this one oh, it might be the next one this one this one, these are my Hero Art Circle Infinity dies, and I'm just using it to cut out the space in the middle. If you don't have dies, you could really easily just do this with some scissors. It's not a big deal. I have the dies, so therefore I'm going to use them. And I'm just lining it up so it doesn't hit. It doesn't hit anything, and I'm just going to run this through my die cut machine. shaker part I'm going to use acetate not acetate vellum behind this instead of acetate just for something different I do find that I use the vel the acetate more because obviously you can see through it but I thought it would be nice to kind of have the the vellum look this time so I'm just looking around for a spot that I like Ooh, I like that which I know it's in the middle of the page but have this little bit here so I'm just using my scissors to cut the section and then I'll trim it down to the size I need I'm aware I'm wasting a little bit doing this but I do have two bits so I think it's all right now obviously I haven't got the exact shape of the die cut here so all I'm going to do is just sort of work out just gonna draw on the vellum just sort of around the shape and then just trim it out now it is a little hard to see so it's sort of not the best but it works and it doesn't matter that I've got that flat bit at the top because it'll all get hidden behind here anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down I'm just looking to make sure nothing's popping out of the sides which it just sort of is on this side so I'll just make that a little skinnier. You can do this with any kind of glue you like, I'm just going to use glue tape just because it's easier for me. Something I've found that I can push out, sometimes when you use a die cut it'll leave like a bit of a, a border. You can push that out a little bit so it's not quite so pronounced. So I'm just seeing if I can get rid of some of that circle border. Okay, Alright, then for the height of the actual shaker so we can put the well in behind it, I'm going to grab some of this foam. And I'm going to use my circles again. I'm going to grab two. So I want one that's, that's a bit bigger. Come here. Might come up. Yeah, so I reckon that one, because that's about the size back here. And then this one is just going to be the size above what my little well was. Just moving it to be in the right spot. And then I'm going to cut two of these out. So again, just grabbing a little bit of washi just to hold everything together. So it's cut out that little ring of foam. If it's not 100% cut through, that's okay because you can get in there with the scissors and it'll work. But that's worked out really well. Oh, thankfully that held. Oh, 
half like that. I was really hoping that the second one would fit on there too, but it just doesn't quite. Now if you don't have the, the foam, you can just use foam tape, it will still work. I just find this foam is a little bit easier to deal with when you're kind of making very skinny ones. So that, they weren't perfect circles, they were a little bit sort of off center, so I'm just lining them up so that they're right. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of foam tape, not foam tape, double-sided tape, because it's just got a little bit more give to it. Plus the um, glue dots don't quite work on this. So I'm just gonna run this around this outside of the ring, and then I can stick the two together. If it's a pain, as in if the, you're having trouble manipulating the double-sided tape, just take the backing tape off and it'll sort of do what you want a little bit more. lined up but I think it'll do the job because then I'm going to stick it straight onto the back here exactly the same way we just did so I'll run some tape around and that'll give me my little well and then we can start looking at how we put this onto a backing piece which is the only part that I haven't thought through so I'm just going to go ahead and stick this down and we'll get onto that to doing it with the double-sided tape and the foam is that there is absolutely no stickiness here like there's I can run my finger around and there's nothing that's sticking to which means when I put my sequins in it's not going to stick to anything and they should shake really nicely I say should because I'm still likely to stuff this up okay for what it's gonna stick to I know where I want it to, to go I want it to sit over here and so what I'm kind of thinking is maybe I have like a little fold out so that way I've got room still to write behind it if I want to. So I'm just gonna grab my papers because you are gonna see through that a little bit. Now obviously it's very faint because of the vellum. I think that's dark on the inside, can't use that one. It needs to be something I can still write on. I might use this piece only because it's probably my least favorite of the papers and because you're not really gonna see through it at the back, it's gonna look okay as like a border thing. So. It's going to fold out, so I need to measure measure the height. I want to have it sitting sort of off a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to cut it here. So there's the height. I'm going to have to use my big trimmer for this because it's longer than my little trimmer. So I'm just going to fold it in half. Get that score tool out again and just reinforce that. We'll sit there like that so we'll get the pencil again and just sort of mark it. Whenever I do stuff like this I'd rather make it too big and then have to trim it more than do the opposite because if it's too small you kind of stuff yourself. So if you're guessing like I do and using sight as opposed to actual measurements just always overestimate. fold have the flipper on the inside on the outside sorry have the oh, shaker on the outside I'll get my words right in a minute and then it'll open up and it can have sort of a to-do list or my notes or anything on here and we'll just have Sunday on the inside I think that'll work all right so I'll finish off I am kind of tempted to make this a circle just to round it around those don't know. I'm going to leave it square because I think it'll look better when it's open as a square and because I don't really want to use, like, be able to see the pink on the inside. Yeah, no, we'll do 
do it that way. So one more run round of the tape so we can stick this down and then we can kind of put it all together. Just a thought, if you do have some of the adhesive foam sheets, which I do, but I've only got them in black, uh, you could use that, which obviously could then would mean you wouldn't have to do these runs of tape around the outside quite so much. Um, or if you've got the um, adhesive sheets, which again, I do have, and I could have used those. But I just wanted to show you, you can make it work with whatever you happen to have. And although the double-sided tape isn't always the most conducive thing, especially when you're trying to go around in circles, it does still work. So this is my fear place because you've only sort of got one try at this getting the backing on because once you've got the little foam things in there, it's a bit of a pain. I am just going to get my paintbrush that has my powder on it. There's no powder. I haven't dipped it or anything, but it's always got a little bit of residual powder. I'm just running that around the outside, inside, sorry just in case. And then what I'm going to put in here, I have a combination of things. I have some time to unwind sequins from back in the day where we used to get sequins, ow, from Planners Anonymous, ow. Just stabbed myself with my tweezers twice, ow. I don't learn. So I just like the purples in here. I feel like they match the purples and the blues in here, in the butterfly kit and I'm just taking out there's some little sequins that look like lavender and I'm just taking them out and then I have another little group of sequins which I have no idea where I got it from but it's got some more pinks and blues in it so I thought I'm going to add them in the mix as well you're not going to see the colors a lot because they will be behind the vellum things here. I just want to tip all of these out, which I know is counterintuitive, but I need a couple of them stuck. Just because I realized I've, I've done this around the wrong way, Not around the wrong way, but there's an easier way to do this. down on top of and it will be I can actually see where I'm placing it otherwise I was going to try and do it upside down and that just wasn't going to work I'm just lining it up it's going to hang a little bit off the top and a little bit off the bottom go push that down and there we've got our little shaker which like I said the vellum makes it a very different look but you can still see them shaking around in there I just think it's something cool and different that I haven't done before and I want to chuck a I'll chuck a word or a quote or something on there in a minute when I feel like it. All right, let's get to the actual planner pages now that I have my little shaker all ready to go. I want to use a lot of the washi tape because it is stunning. So I'm going to put it at the top of my page up here. I'm just going to white out the January so it doesn't show through. down, cut off the excess.
down and then cut off the excess with the trimmer. That just works a bit better for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the washi tape, stick that at the bottom, and I'll be right back. shaker on now the shaker I want to have it sit where Sunday is so I want it to sit a little bit lower so it'll go over this tape a little bit but it won't be it means that it'll give me more room back so I'm putting a bunch of glue tape on here I really like that shaker it turned out really well but I do want it to go all the way to this end of the page Actually, before I stick that down, I'm just having a thought. I don't remember the last time I've done this. Let's put some of this washi on the outside. Now, I probably don't need it. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm going to put it all the way up this side. I'm going to do it on the other side as well. Just trim off the bit that covers up. I just don't want that. This is just using a washi cutter but if you don't have a washi cutter and um, craft knife and a ruler work just or just a ruler works just as well. Do the same thing on this side just to give a little bit more plus this washi is just stunning. All right we had a camera we had a camera blip and so all I've done you haven't missed much we noticed it before I got too far all I've done is just stuck this down, so just exactly where I said I was going to on the end, and I've just taken off a sticker and whited out my Mondays. We're going to use this big double box to kind of even up the shapes here, or even up the, what's the words I'm looking for, even up the areas being taken up. So I want to use the whole of this sticker, which I don't normally do, but I really want to, so I'm using the bits sort of extra bits first and that way I can line it all up and it should all look seamless. This is where tweezers are very, 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 very handy. Just try to keep it as straight as I can. Just a very small little white line between the washi and the sticker. We'll go ahead and put the big bit of the sticker on underneath it and just try and make it as seamless as I can. It doesn't look 100% seamless but it's pretty close and it really does balance those two out now, it doesn't look quite so off, quite so off. So for the days of the week I think I'm going to use the standard kit which I thought I got out. because it's got all the colours and I think that sort of ends up looking better when I've already used all the colours. So I'll use these ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them down, just sticking them down, not anywhere, but in different places. So the Monday is going to be right over on the right. Sunday sticker on the inside but I just feel like I need to break Sunday up a little bit. 
So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape just along the, the middle where Sunday would be finishing just because it just looks a little big. It just looks a little big. And I'll put a butterfly. I'm going to use the big washi as well, but I'm going to use it singularly. I'm just going to grab this gorgeous butterfly if I don't cut his wing off, which I didn't. Just really quickly fussy cut that out. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a rough shape. Just trying not to get too close to his wings. There are plenty of stickers in here as well, which I'll use in a second, but I wanted to use some of the washi as well. All right, so I'm going to put the 30 week sticker back in because that needs to go back into Tuesday. I do have an appointment on Monday, so I'm going to use the little post-it note to go up there. It's, it, it is a little odd that the only thing I have on all week is on Monday and that's the day I've kind of taken the most amount of room from, but I'm okay with it. I think it'll be fine. And then the rest of it, I'm going to play with some stickers. So actually, before I do that, I know I want to put something on here. I'm just grabbing the die cuts. Whoops. Just want to make sure I don't lose the little ones. I'm just looking at which one of the words sort of fits best here because there's a couple. So there's amazing, there's let's do this, beautiful, I kind of wish I had a pink one. I don't think I've ever said that. Okay, so there aren't any that kind of work off the bat, so I'm just checking what I've got with the stickers. Extra sticker sheets. Oh, there's an extra sticker sheet in here. No, I don't want to use those. I'm going to use the little beautiful one because it's almost what I want, just not quite. So I can live with that. I'm going to put those back. And just a bit of glue tape on the back. There. It just fills up that little bit of white space that there was in there. All right, it just fits between my rings really pretty, so I'm going to use that too. <laughs> Whoops! So a bunch of tape on here. I'm just grabbing a bit of scrap paper just so I don't get a mess all over here. Just some stickers around the place like that lot of butterflies have them sitting just there and then there's the flowers on the other side so I'm going to have them between Friday and Saturday just... I don't think I need any more quotes I think I have enough need some of those butterflies some of those plants and some of these orchids I think just around the place so I've got I'm just gonna put a, a header using the teal underneath that line and that way it's just got a, a to-do or I can write something in here like a mail or something it'll probably be a happy mail in fact I'll grab the little mini that's got the mail mini just put a couple of the butterflies around the place. I want to grab a couple more of the hollow ones, the holographicness on the washi ones. So I'm just going to grab these three. There's sort of this one with the purple and then there's two with the blues and the greens. I think 
think I like that. I think I, there's still plenty of room on Sunday. There's plenty of room on the inside. I'm just not 100% sure it's done, but I don't want to add any more because I feel like if I add more, it's going to go over the top, which there's always that line with me. Never quite know where the line is, so I just like flirting with it on either side. But that's my week using Butterfly Skies. I know we had to wait a little while for that, and I think it gave me more time to work out what I wanted to do, because I don't think I would have thought of doing the, the flipper. Ryan doesn't think that you can really get a lot out of it, because the vellum is a bit thicker and you can't really see the shaker bits in there. I get a lot out of them, because I really like shakers. I think they're fun. And I can see them hitting the light just a little bit, and it kind of gives that same holographic shift as the, the stuff on the washi tape does. So it's it's subtle, but it's there. And like I said, if you didn't want to use it in your planner, if you wanted to use it somewhere else, you could use it in your card. That'd make a really beautiful uh, focal point on a card. And you just would need a sentiment or two and it would be absolutely perfect. But there we go. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Please give it that big old thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to be subscribed to my channel for heaps more Planners Anonymous goodness. Um, I won't wait so long between using this one and using Under the Stars, so if you want to make sure you don't miss that one, being subscribed is the best way to do it. You can also follow me on all of my social medias. I post over there basically every day, um, so you can catch up with me there as well. I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome rest of your week, and I will catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye!